right guys, so I'll try this again. <laughs> uh, seems people keep coming into my room and interrupting me. Uh, anyways, so uh, last week I did the uh, Dark Vengeance uh, Tactical Squad for the uh, Dark Angels. Um, definitely uh, pr pretty happy with uh, how they ended up. Um, I've got the Terminator sitting off to the side. Um, not too sure uh, where I'm going to go with them. Uh, I've got them to a point where they're almost painted and then I'm looking at them and it just doesn't look quite right so I'm going to go back and forth with those and try and get something sorted out that I actually uh, like for the paint job so in the meantime I'm going to be working on some Deathwing Knights um, mainly well, this guy for now. Uh, I'm going to paint these guys one at a time uh, just because I want to spend a little extra time on these guys. I actually like uh, the sculpts and the way they they look. Uh, and Yeah, so he'll be first. I'll kind of do a... Well, I'm going to try and do maybe one a day. Um, being that it's the afternoon now, I don't think I'll get this guy done today. Probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to get them base coated and you know lay down some base colors and see where it's going. Um, so there's him. Uh, this is the uh, the base I'm going to be using. Um, obviously made from some plastic card, some uh, those little rivets from the, the plastic pipe stuff. Um, got the uh, wheel from a, a tank kit um, not a GW kit obviously uh, f from an actual model kit uh, those are actually really great for uh, giving yourself basing materials it, I think the kit cost me ended up costing me something like 40 bucks um, it came with a it's basically enough parts to make the tank as well as a railroad car uh, f for transporting and that's also got wheels and springs and a bunch of other stuff like not actual springs but you get the idea so yeah it's just an endless box of bits I can throw on my my bases and you know they end up being pretty nice so there's the base and then I'm also gonna do a quick job on this guy just gonna kind of throw them together see if we can get this to focus on this here. Doesn't want to go. Alright, well, I'm going to go figure out a little bit more on my camera too. <laughs> so, anyways, that's what I'm going to be uh, working on for the next uh, few days. Um, also, if uh, anyone's um, looking to get uh, some great looking fantasy miniatures um, I'm not sure if the price is reasonable but it looks pretty good to me um, there's uh, a Kickstarter um, it's a, called uh, Darklands A World at War <coughs> this one's done by <coughs> Mears Miniatures um, they also do the Bane Legions and the Bane, uh, Bane Beasts so if you're a fan of those uh, those big monstrous creatures, definitely uh, check them out. Um, I, I've pledged to uh, get a, a infantry starter set as well as a monstrous infantry starter set. So I think it's not a not a bad price considering the the quality of the miniatures and like yeah. Even if you're not going to pledge, check them out because they look absolutely amazing. I'll put a, maybe I'll just put a link in the uh, description below and uh, also give you a link to their <clears throat> actual website so you can see. But it looks like they're they're trying to start their own uh, miniatures game as well. So it might be worth checking out. Anyways, guys, we'll uh, see you in the next video. All right.